Welcome everyone, let's install Future Pinball on Linux. Future Pinball is this amazing pinball simulator that's unfortunately available only for Windows, but we're going to run it through Wine on Linux. And we're going to do that with a bit of background information from this blog here. Fortunately, Redux has provided extensive information for getting Future Pinball working through Wine. And I've basically thrown together this bash script that walks through the whole process so that hopefully you don't have to go through too much effort. Let's get started real quick with this. We'll just go ahead and right click on the raw button and copy link address and we'll open up the terminal and type in wget and we'll enter in that address here. There we go. We've got that file. Now we just need to mod that file chmod plus x. And that's specifically to let the system know that, that it's executable. So we're going to execute that script. And at this point, let's just go ahead and run it. This is going to go through a bunch of different confirmations, or rather it should go through some confirmations. Initially, it should ask for your admin password. And right now it's installing Wine 1.7, which currently is a beta version of Wine. If you've already got Wine installed, you won't have to go through this wait for the Wine installation process. The system will just let you know that it's already installed and proceed with the rest. This will take a while. So I'll try and fast forward this video a bit. Okay, here we've come to the part of the installation where it's going to configure MS Core fonts. We'll just go ahead and OK this. Let's just go ahead and scroll on down here to the bottom and press OK space. There we go. We'll press the right arrow right here and that'll get us to the OK button and then press OK. In order to install this package, you must accept the license terms. Press yes. Okay, here we go with the Wine Mono installer. It's asking if we want to install Mono. And uh, we're going to cancel out that part. We don't need that for this. And we're going to cancel out this as well. Meanwhile, Wine is now creating a configuration. That'll be the default configuration. It should also go through the process of creating a configuration for the future pinball installation we downloaded as well. All right, I'm not sure why this is detecting uh, German, but we'll go ahead and agree with this. All right, let's go ahead and cancel that again. And there we go. This actually has to do with the specific installation of Future Pinball that I've installed here. So we'll go ahead and close this up. We should see that error message. And let's see what we have here. Okay, this configuration is specific to the Future Pinball install that I, that I included here that I referenced for the download. So let's go ahead and okay this, everything's just fine left as default. Let's go ahead and okay that. And as the last part of this process, basically, it's installing a pinball table, pinball version 1.0. I believe it's Bally's pinball. And so it's a very old table and we'll use that for testing purposes. <clears throat> And that's basically it. So everything should be up and running now. And if all went correctly, as I believe it should have, we should actually see a new entry up in here in our games menu. And there it is. Future Pinball, we'll go ahead and click on that. Let's go ahead and close this out. We don't need that anymore. And at this point, let's just go ahead and open up the uh, tables folder. Let's go ahead and find this here. 
Future Pinball, Thoughts and Voices, uh, Games, Future Pinball, and Tables. Here we go. And this is the pinball game that I downloaded. And really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and set these rendering uh, options down to the bare minimum here. And that's because my system here isn't exactly fast. And let's go ahead and try and play this here. And there we go. You press the five key uh, to put in a coin and then press the one key to start a game. And there we go. You press the enter key to uh, hold down the plunger and let it go to let that thing go. And left and right shift for the flippers. So basically that's it, and you press the escape key to exit back to the uh, design area. Here's the button I pressed, the uh, play table. You could also press F5 in order to uh, play the table. So basically that's it. It uh, works and uh, it works okay. It, uh, this particular system's a little bit slow, not quite up to par to try and run it. I have other systems that do, and I'll be doing some videos based off of those. But basically that's it. Uh, running uh, Future Pinball on Linux, Rewind. Take care. Hope you have a great day.